next up, our final of this batch is the early access slash beta of the year. Here we go. Keep on, just, it's all right. I'm going to skip it. That's okay. Uh, all right. I heard you. All right. Okay. Nominees are... Bet. Starbound. Early access Don't know bet. if you heard of it. Uh, Xeno Knots. Cube World. Mercenary Kings. Nuclear Throne. <laughs> it's like you're presenting them. I know. Bro <laughs> <laughs> uh, n- Not receiving votes. Sir, you're being hunted in Castle Story. Hmm. Any anything anything we're missing? Anything I forgot all about Bro for us. I kinda of forgot about it too. I, I wanted mean, to I wanted to like I feel like I've seen the nominate I saw that game like a year ago. And then I would nominate Path of Exile and Neverwinter has but they actually came out, so they're not no longer in <laughs> beta. Yeah. Timber and Stone. Um what yeah, else I like watching there? Jason. What uh, about Jason's that uh, what about Grim Dawn, stuff? Ethan? Um, uh, I'm personally excited for it, but I, I don't I don't know if it's going to be able to compete with some of these on here. So I wouldn't even, yep. I wouldn't even toss that on that. Have you, any of you guys played it? No, no. no. Yeah, I was going to say I'm, I'm excited about yeah. it, but I, for my own reasons. So Daisy I, I, and Star Citizen. Other... Um. All right, I like this list. Let's see. Hmm. I'm. If we're gonna eliminate anything, Cube World has kind of. That's where I'm a little headed. bit nervous about it. Yep. That really slowed uh, down. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't keep it up. But do you feel like when he does come back, like he's just gonna unload all this new stuff that he's been working? I don't on? know. Like, I, mean, I hope it's like, a two-person team, isn't it? I mean, I'm nervous about like it's really great. We got into it, but I mean. I'm I'm trying to think of what they're looking at these other games. When these games add to it, they're going to be really great. Cube World, like judge what it, is going to differentiate? Judge it on the quality of the early access beta period itself. Like, it, there are a lot of these games have continuous updates and up and and like the developers reaching out to the community. You kind of know what's going on. That's what a quality early access beta experience would be to me. And I would knock Cube World down because it has not been that. Um, it was it rough. Just it, announced yeah. a quest system. Yeah. After how long we played this in the summertime? I mean, so not have a whole lot. But it is a small team. But again, yeah. So we're not talking it, about it the funnest early access no, no, no. game that you not have. We're just talking about. I just want. I want this. The whole I, experience. I want the whole experience of, in of the early equation. access. So in that regard, I'd knock that down. I don't. <laughs> I haven't been keeping tabs Xenonauts on Xenonauts. Is funny. Uh, Xenonauts. Well, we were all me, so excited for it, and then. The, all the XCOM games actually came out like the enemy, yeah, enemy unknown. You know why? I, I think why I'm kind of excited about Xenonauts. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it in terms of being a, excited for this though. But it, it is it is like the original XCOM minus yeah. all the crappy stuff. So I mean, I think it still has its. Uh, I'm excited to that aspect of it because I mean, it is. I didn't think I'd do this, but I'd actually put Nuclear Throne over Mercenary King. So I kind of want to knock down Mercenary Kings. I'd do that. Yeah, I would too. Because uh, I liked how Vlambeers handled Nuclear Throne, so definitely, and, and they're both fun games. So, um, and Bro Force is in my list. Um, yeah, really, it's between Nuclear Throne and Xenonauts for me for the finals. There, um, none of us have actually played any of Xenonauts, though, right? I have. You have, yeah. but you okay. guys haven't. Yeah, it's yeah, it's no, really really good. It's really good. Is it like, is um, it... Uh, I'd be okay with knocking out Nuclear Throne. Is it 3D artwork, or is it just like 2D artwork, like the originals? It's 2D artwork, but it's it's really yeah, good no, 2D that's, artwork. That's what I like. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, it's super deep. I, so it's, I, I feel isometric. like this is kind of Ethan's wheelhouse, too, so I would almost... Did you play Nuclear Throne? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, you've got info on all four of these games, and mm-hmm. I feel like we can only weigh in on three. As long as we agree that Broforce wins, I'm fine. I'll to me, I, I gotta agree with you on that. <laughs> yeah. I really do because, like, point? Starbound to me, it made a really good first impression. But I feel like I've played like more content is going to be added to it. But I haven't like I feel like I've played as close to the final as I'm going to get. Broforce, mm-hmm. that little 
like snippet that we've been able to play was awesome, and that game just excites me. Mm-hmm. I think even more so than Starbound because I mean Starbound did not jump. It's different than Terraria, but I mean not so much. It is like oh my gosh, but yeah. Bro Force is gonna be frantic fun, and it's the kind of game that is really I'm just really looking forward to it with that. Yep. Just sold me, bro. Force. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you yeah I don't have out. that kind of excitement for <laughs> the other games in the list. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Early access beta of the year goes to Bro Force. Boom. Our finalists: Starbound and Xenonauts. 